Good morning and thanks for joining in today. Today I'm going to talk about a medical emergency called paraphimosis which happens in males who are not circumcised. It is a relatively uncommon condition, however, it is a completely preventable condition and simple measures can avoid this condition from happening. Please do not confuse paraphimosis with a condition called phimosis, which I have discussed in my link above. And that is not a surgical emergency, this is a medical emergency. So let's discuss this further. To try and explain paraphimosis, just going to discuss the normal anatomy of the male genitals. So I've drawn the scrotum here. This is the shaft of the penis and this is the head of the penis in red or called the glans penis. That's the opening of the urethra through which we pass urine. The junction between the glans penis and the shaft of the penis where this red line is, is called the corona. And on top of the glans, this black line I've drawn with the opening in the front is the foreskin, which is quite stretchable the opening is quite stretchable as well and this in most individuals can be pulled back behind the corona of the head of the penis. Try and explain what happens in paraphimosis. I have drawn the second diagram. In this diagram what I have shown that the foreskin instead of being on top of the glands has been pulled back behind the corona. So the foreskin is back here However, after cleaning the glands or whatever reason the foreskin was pulled back for, which we will discuss in a minute, it has not been brought back into its original position on top of the glands. If this was left behind the corona, which is the line between the glands and the shaft of the penis, left behind it for a prolonged period of time, and I don't mean days, I mean hours or so, this foreskin becomes swollen because it's in a tight place it becomes swollen and the swelling get worse and worse and worse when this becomes more and more swollen the foreskin becomes tighter around the shaft and the head of the penis which is the glands will start losing its blood supply and this foreskin cannot be pulled back easily now at this stage and this condition is called paraphimosis how does paraphimosis present to the doctor and how is it diagnosed? Presentation is very simple. The foreskin has been pulled back. However, it has not been pulled forward. So clinical history is there. The head of the penis or the glands looks very dusky blue. In advanced cases might start looking black. The foreskin is very, very swollen and very, very tight and cannot be pulled back. So diagnosis just requires clinical examination the symptoms are pain and swelling of this area. So what causes paraphimosis? In my experience, the commonest cause of paraphimosis is medical procedures. A junior doctor or a junior nurse who have not handled the foreskin before, they will pull the foreskin back either to clean the area or to insert a catheter. They will not pull the foreskin back in its original position. As a result, after sometime after an hour or so the foreskin start becoming swollen start becoming tighter sometimes even at home if the foreskin is a bit scarred and a bit tight and the patient pulls the foreskin back but forgets to push it back in its original position then it can become tight and swollen and can cause paraphimosis what are the complications of paraphimosis the obvious complication of paraphimosis is because of this tight ring the glans penis or the head of the penis loses its blood supply can become very dusky dark blue congested red in later stages of paraphimosis can even completely lose its blood supply and become gangrenous under the ring even when it's released because of the ulceration underneath can cause infections what is the treatment for paraphimosis the treatment should start as soon as the diagnosis of paraphimosis is made. First thing to do is to get some cold packs and cover this area with cold packs to take the swelling down. An injection with a substance called hyaluronidase can also help the swelling down. Do not put ice directly against the skin of the penis. It can cause damage 
and fair amount of pain if the ice gets stuck to the skin. This area with swelling is very fragile and should be handled very carefully. Once the swelling is down, an expert doctor will lubricate the area and try and push the glands back and the foreskin forwards on top of the glands. In about 6 or 7 out of 10 times, they will be successful. If that does not work and the swelling continues to get worse and the glands are looking duskier and losing their blood supply, then under local anesthetic, by injecting a local anesthetic around the area or at the block of the penis or under general anesthetic, a little cut can be made on this ring and the foreskin can be pulled back. This is an old fashioned procedure called the dorsal slit and is quite effective. Once the swelling has settled down, then a formal circumcision can be carried out. In severe and advanced paraphimosis, an emergency circumcision may be necessary. However, it's not an easiest procedure to do because of the swelling. If the paraphimosis is very advanced and the head of the penis has lost its blood supply and is gangrenous, then a formal amputation of the penis might be necessary. I hope you found this video informative and if you did, then I'd be most grateful if you could remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and until next time, I shall see you very soon. Take care.